Hi everyone, it's Silent Starling again. On the eve of our server opening, and also because we've been going through a lot of updates, I wanted to make a video that shows everybody how to use the plugin that our server and the Armor Creature server uses to prevent grief, which is called Grief Defender. It's uh, developed by our server owner. And it's been going through a lot of updates recently. And so I wanted to make a video that kind of explains the basics of uh, how to make a claim, how to edit your claim, what the different kinds of claims are for, and then our newest option, which is being able to rent or sell claims. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over the basics of how to make a claim. So the way that it used to be done is that you used to use a golden shovel. And when you were holding a golden shovel, you could click on one That's corner bad. of your land and another corner of your land, and it would create a claim. Well, you don't need that anymore. There's now a command for it. You can type That's slash bad. claim, and it turns on and off your claim mode. So if I want to turn it off, I'll just type slash claim again. Um, important to note, when you have claim mode on, you cannot break blocks because it assigns tools to your left click and your right click. So it says left click to inspect and right click to claim. So if I were to left click on this land, it tells me it's not claimed by anybody right now. If I were to go over outside of one of our gyms right here, and I clicked, it would tell me this is an administrative claim and it shows me the corners of it right here. So it shows me how far out it goes. So I know that I need to go over here somewhere to be able to make a claim. So I can check all around, I can see, okay, there's no claims around here. So now if I start right clicking, it's going to select the corners of my claim. So you want to make sure that you click on the opposite corners of your claim. So let's mark this out real quick. Let's say I want to claim this rectangle right here, okay? If I want to claim this space, I want to make sure that I'm clicking on opposite corners. So if I turn claim back on, I can right click on this claim. It changes color and it tells me in chat that it's set one corner and I need to go click on the opposite corner now. So if I click on this corner, again, right click, it made a basic claim and it took up all of the space that I wanted because I clicked on the opposite corners. So now what you can do, if I left click now, it tells me that this area is claimed by me and it shows me my outlines, which is exactly where we wanted it. Now let's say I wanted to take this claim and I wanted to make it bigger. What I would need to do is let's say, let me turn this off again so I can um, edit it. Let's say instead of being this big, I want the claim to go out more. So let's say I want that to be that new corner. And I want this to be that new corner. So I want a bigger claim now. So we don't need to make two different claims. What we're going to do is we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna click in here. It's gonna show me my old corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this corner and instead of create a new claim, it says resizing claim. So what it's going to do is I need to click on this corner the closest corner to where you're trying to resize and then I'm going to right click on my new corner and so instead of making two different claims it made my original claim bigger so now if I left click over here which wasn't originally claimed you can see it is now claimed and similarly I can take this and I can resize it smaller as well so now it's even smaller than it was previously now, let's say I've decided I don't want to claim here anymore and I want to get rid of it. You simply stand inside the claim and you type abandon claim. It's going to ask you to double check and make sure that yes, this is the claim you want to get rid of and you hit confirm and now the claim is gone. So if I test, it says nobody's claimed this block. One additional thing to note, um, when you first type slash claim, if you look at the very bottom in yellow, it will tell you how many claim blocks you have. So if you try to claim some space and you don't have enough claim blocks, it will tell you in chat, you need this many more blocks to claim the area that you're trying to claim. So that will let you know how many claim mm. blocks you have. Claim blocks are usually gained either over time or some servers will allow you to purchase them. Another thing to keep in mind, if I start claiming some land and I decide, oh no, I clicked on the wrong spot, that's not where I want to claim, 
if you want to cancel it, you can just type claim again and it won't mess anything up. Now the claim you started to make, it just got rid of all of it. And so you're back to a clean slate. So let's go over the four different kinds of claims. There's basic claims, subdivisions, town, and admin. Admin claims are mostly for staff of various servers. So most players are only gonna have access to the first three. When you just type slash claim and you start making a claim by default, it's going to have you make a basic claim. So if we look at this claim that I made right here, if I hit claim info, I can look at all of the information on what claim I'm standing on. So if we look, it tells me how big the claim is, uh, which world it's in. It tells you the name, which I'll show you that in a minute, who made it, and it shows you what type of claim it is. So we can see this is a two-dimensional basic claim. When it says two-dimensional, that means that this claim goes all the way from sky limit to bedrock within these dimensions. You can make 3D claims, which we'll go over in just a minute. You can also look on here to see who is trusted to various claims. So in my basic claim here, let's say I want to make some market stalls. So I want to make a little space. I'm gonna use a different color of wool here. Let's say I want to make a market stall right here. So I want other players, I want to be able to trust my friend Joe to this little space here so that he can use his own little market stall, but I don't want him to be able to do anything in the rest of my claim. So we're going to make a subdivision. So to do that, you're going to type slash SC in chat. So that changes it from basic claiming mode to subdivision creating mode. So now we're going to do it like we've been making regular claims. You type slash claim, you click on one corner and you click on the other. So now we have a subdivision. Um, important to note, subdivisions can only be made in previously existing claims. So you can't go outside of this claim and make a subdivision. It needs to be within a basic or a town claim. So now we make sure we turn this off. So now if I do claim info in here, it shows me that this is a subdivision, not the basic claim. This is the little subdivision that I just made. So now what I could do is I could type slash trust, which we'll go over in a little bit, and I could trust Joe to this claim. So within these little blue blocks, he could do whatever I give permission for him to do, but he cannot do that outside of those blue blocks. So let's say I want to take this and I want everybody to know that this is Joe's stall. I can do claim name and it tells you, you can hit claim name and let's say I'm gonna name it Joe's stall. Make sure you don't do any spaces. So now if I do claim info, it shows the claim name up in the top left as Joe's stall. Now let's say that Joe wants the claim to say hello when people walk into it and goodbye when they walk out of it. You can do claim greetings and claim farewells. So if we do slash claim greeting, it tells you you type claim greeting and then your message, or you could type clear if you want to get rid of a message you had previously. So let's say claim greeting, hello. So if I leave the claim, and I walk in, it pops up in my chat, it says hello. So now let's do claim farewell and we'll say goodbye. So now when I walk out, it says goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Now let's say if we want to get rid of these, we're going to do claim greeting clear. So now the farewell is still there, but when I walk in, it doesn't say hello. So we can get rid of the claim farewell in the same way. And now it doesn't say anything when I walk in or out of it. So one thing that you can also do if you've decided, let's say you make a claim and you say, I want this to be a town. So I'm going to make houses and I'm going to let other people live in them. And you're gonna be doing lots of subdivisions. We do claim info here. You can see again, this is my basic claim. If I click on town, it changes it right over to a town claim from a basic claim. This shouldn't mess with my subdivision. See, it's still there. It's just that now it's inside of a town claim instead of a basic claim. All right, now let's say we're making a claim in a giant building and you want to be able to rent out a room to somebody. So that means that you don't want them to be able to edit the rooms above or below theirs. So you're going to need a 3D claim instead of a 2D claim. So the way that we can do this is you type slash cuboid that's how you spell it right there in your chat. And as you see, it says claiming in 3D mode. If I wanted to go back to 2D mode, I would just type it again. 
So we want 3D mode, and for this we're going to want subdivision mode, so we'll make sure we're doing subdivisions. All right, and so now what we can do is turn on our claim mode again, and it has us making subdivisions in 3D mode. So when we said we click opposite corners, you want to do the same thing with 3D mode. So I'm going to click my top left corner, and then I'm going to click my far bottom right corner. So I'm going to click up there and down here. So you can see it changed them to iron to show you that this claim is only that tall and it doesn't go below me or above those blocks. So we'll do claim info here. So if I fly above it up here, see it says town because my town claim goes up to the sky and down to the bottom, but it doesn't say subdivision because we're not within the parameters that we set for our subdivision. So that's how you can claim a 3D chunk of space within your own claim. Now let's say that you play on a server where they only have a certain number of homes that you can set. But you still want to be able to come back to this claim without setting a home. Well you can do that. You can set spawn points for each of your claims. So I'm standing on this claim and if I do claim spawn It tells me I haven't set a spawn point yet. So what I can do, let's say that when I spawn in my claim, I want to spawn right here. So I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna do GD claim set spawn. So it tells you the coordinates. This is where it put my claim spawn. So now if I do claim spawn, it takes me right back there. Now see, when I do it outside of my claim, it doesn't know what I'm talking about because I'm not inside the claim. So if I sit here and I name my claim, we're going to do claim name test. So now if we go claim info, it's named test. So if I do claim spawn test, now let's do it outside of the claim here. It knows which claim I'm talking about. So make sure when you set a spawn for your claims that your claims are named so that you can still teleport to that spawn even when you're not standing within that claim. Otherwise, it's going to take you to the spawn of whatever claim you're currently standing in. All right, so now let's talk about claim trust. Let's say that me and my friend Joe, we joined this server together and we want to build a house together. So I've made this claim and I want Joe to be able to build things in this claim with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type GG trust player. And so then it's going to pull up, I can type slash trust, you would need to type the player name. And then you can also type what kind of trust you want to give the player. So if me and Joe are building a house together, I want to give him trust um, with the builder tag because I want him to be able to break and place blocks. Now let's say uh, my friend Jill has joined the server, but I don't know Jill very well and I don't want her to be able to break blocks on my claim, but I want her to be able to open the door and come in. So you can give her accessor trust. You can type slash trust, Jill, accessor. So accessor means that players can activate things like doors and pressure plates and levers and things like that, but they can't actually break or place any blocks within your claim. Container is an add-on to accessor. So if I trust Jill, to container trust, not only can she open doors and levers, but she can also open chests. So that's very important to note. So if you want to add somebody onto your claim, but you don't want them to get into your belongings, make sure you give them access or trust and not container trust. If a player has builder trust, then they have access or and container trust as well. Manager is the highest level of trust. It means that they can also edit things on your claim info page, like they can set the spawn and they can actually edit some things in your claim itself. So the tier list of trust is accessor is the lowest, then container, then builder, then manager. All right, so let's talk about the newest part of the plugin, which is the ability to rent and sell claims. So let's say that I have my claim here and I built a really pretty house on it and I want other players to be able to come and rent it and live in it for a bit. So we're gonna use a sign for this and it's gonna have a very specific layout. So make sure you put this sign on the claim somewhere. We're gonna place it. In the top you type GD for Grief Defender and then we're going to type rent because we want to rent it. And now what you need to do is you need to type 
the pricing per time. So you can do it by hour or by day. So let's say I want to charge $100 a day to rent this house. Now on the fourth line, you can either leave it blank or you can add in um, a limiting time. So let's say if I always want this claim to be rentable, I would leave this blank. Let's say I only want this claim to be rentable for a month. You would type 30 days down here. So this means that the claim would only be able to be rented for 30 days maximum. Now let's make this here. And it's going to pop up something in your chat if you did it right. It's going to summarize for you. You said price of 100 per day. So you have to hit confirm. And you look, it'll change the layout of your sign. So we have a rent claim. It says it's rentable because it's not rented to anybody right now. And you can set it, it's $100 a day. Now remember, I gave it that 30 day time limit. So let's say five days later, somebody comes to rent it. They can only have it for a maximum of 25 days. It starts the limiting countdown as soon as you make the sign, not when somebody rents it. So again, if you want to make a claim where people can just come and rent it and then they can leave and then somebody new can rent it and you don't want any sort of limitations on the timing of it, then you would just leave that bottom line blank. So if somebody wants to rent it, they can come right click on it. It's not going to let me do it because I've made this one. But when you right click on a rental sign, it lets you rent it. If you left click on a rental sign, if you're renting it, it will let you cancel your rental. Since I made this, it will get rid of the rental altogether. So if I hit confirm, my sign's gone, my claim is no longer up for rent. So let's say that I want to, I made this pretty house and I want to sell it. So now you go in and you still type GD, instead of rent, you type sell. And then we're just going to put the price right here. We don't need to do pricing per day or anything because it's just going to be a one-time transaction. So if I want to sell this house for 5,000, it's going to pop up in chat again. Are you sure you want to sell your claim for 5,000? It tells you if it's sold, all item and blocks will be transferred to the buyer. So the claim currently says it's owned by me when I do claim info. If somebody were to come click on that sign and buy it, where it says owner silent starling it would say owner whoever has the claim and it will no longer let me edit anything within that claim same thing for rental if somebody came and rented this land i wouldn't be able to edit it while they are renting it so that's important to note especially if you're making houses no within a town and you're trying to rent a specific house in your town make sure you've subdivided it and that you're renting the subdivision not your whole town because then you're not going to be able to edit anything so just make sure that you're really paying attention to which claim you're standing in when you make these things use your claim info a lot it's really helpful it'll tell you which claim you're actually standing in and make sure you name your claims because that'll make it a lot easier to know where you're at what's currently being used and what is still available so that's about it for my basic claim tutorial. There's a lot more things that you can do with this plugin. There are flags that you can edit within various claims. And uh, there, there's a lot more complexity that you can get into. And you can read on the Wikipedia page to look into some more specifics of that. But I hope that for all of you learning the basics that this was helpful. And you can uh, give it a like and let me know if you have any other questions.